Good afternoon folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's well, hope everybody's happy. So I've been spending some coin and um, I'm just gonna unbox a few bits which I've purchased. I'll reset the camera and I'll get back to you. Right, so. First of all then, I bought this uh, spatula. Um, I bought the spatula from Screwfix. Just take the details off here. Okay. So this is a uh, 10 inch spatula. It's made by Forge Steel, I think it is. I've had this for a few weeks now, um, but I've never used it. Um, it has a blue steel blade, which I understand is more resistant to uh, corrosion than say for example normal carbon steel um, this cost about seven quid i think it was it's got a quite a nice um, shape handle and there is quite a bit of debate when you look on um, reviews and stuff like that on the forums about whether it's best to get um, um, something with a blue blade like this or a stainless steel blade which doesn't rust you know there are pros and cons but in the end i opted to go for this and it costs seven quid and if it turns out to be pants well i mean i could just use it as a big scraper when i do my decorating now um the i do actually have another 10 inch scraper um i mean these are called taping knives that's the, um, the proper terminology for them this is a marshall town one um this has got a uh, stainless steel blade this is a damn good tool but i just use it for scraping paper um, off walls um, or ceilings, that sort of stuff. Um, these cost about £15, £16 pound now. Anyway, so um, I've decided to go for that because I've got um, some plaster and I'm probably going to be doing some taping as well. But for the price, it's just worth having knocking around anyway. What I will need to do though, however, um, some of these edges are a little bit sharp. I just need to take them down with some very fine sandpaper. In fact, I might get the mouse on that actually and uh, just take those edges off. Okay, so that's number one. Now, number two. Um, this is a purchase which I've been thinking about making for quite some time now, but there was no point in making the purchase until now um, because this is going to be used in plastering and um, I haven't had any plastering to do before now. So anyway, uh, this is a Rafina, um, a 12 inch medium coarse sponge float. So um, I've got some uh, skimming to do um, and I'm going to start trying to um, um, use a um, sponge float actually. So this will be, this is a technique which um, I've seen on one main um, channel which I watch frequently. Uh, the, um, this is, uh, I first became aware of this um, from a chap called Gaz, Plaster and Force RW67 I think it is, or RWF67. So this cost 10 quid, got off the internet and um, hopefully this will enable me to improve my plastering skills and get a much better finish when I'm skimming plaster. Anyway, that's what it is. And um, when, I, when I do start using this, I'll do some more videos. And like I say, I've taken Gaz's advice and I've got the medium coarse sponge finish on that, okay? So we have a 12 inch float. So that's another tool. Now, uh, we've got a rather big box here. Let's have a swig of my coffee, actually. Okay, so, um, we'll just open this up. Now, I was debating whether or not to buy this item um, or a couple of others. You know, this is once again a tool that we're going to be using for plastering. Make sure we're actually in the picture here. And um, there are always lots and lots of choices, which is good. But sometimes trying to decide, trying to make a decision can be very difficult. So I think all you can do really is to rely on other people's views, but obviously they do differ very widely. 
Um, so I've decided to rely on the view of Gaz once again, Class Ring Force, RWF67. And in order to try and improve my skimming, um, or the skimming results, and you know they're not bad, I mean I work in an office, I'm not a, uh, I don't plaster for a living, um, but you know the results are always pretty good, in my opinion anyway. Anyway, come to the chase, I've decided to buy myself a new plastering trowel. So this is a Refiner Superflex 16 inch finishing trowel. So that looks like the dogs, doesn't it? Now the trowel I have been using for many years now, I've done loads and loads of plastering on an amateur basis, but this is a 13 inch uh, carbon steel Marshall Town. And I've had this for donkey's years, for about 10 years. As I say, I've done loads of plastering, I've done lots of rendering, loads of skimming, and to be honest with you, um, even as an amateur, I can get a pretty decent finish with this. However, um, it's become clear by watching lots of reviews and uh, looking at videos and um, basically just seeing what's happening in the market at the moment that there are other options out there than your conventional, your traditional steel Marshall Town. I mean there are a number of different um, um, options available with Marshall Town but at the end of the day, certainly from what I've read, my skimming will improve dramatically with a new finishing trowel. This Rufina appears to be a dazzled one. So I'm just going to reset the camera a minute <clears throat> so we can get a slightly better view on this. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Now it's upside down or can you guys read it? Yeah, there we go. So basically, I think one of the other things which um, urged me to uh, just spend a little bit of money was the fact that I had 20 quid's worth of Amazon vouchers and uh, this trail was, I bought it from Amazon, um, it's about 37 quid. I bought the sponge float which was um, about, I think it's about 11 quid actually. So 48 quid, 20 pounds worth of vouchers. So basically I got the sponge float and this trail for about 28 quid, which is a bargain. So let's just open this up, see if we can slide the thing out. Yeah, this looks nice. <coughs> made in Germany. None of you made in Britain crap. Now, um, you're supposed to be able to use these straight out of the box, but certainly from what I've read, you know, you do need to um, bed them in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some uh, very fine uh, sandpaper, glass paper, whatever, and I'm going to um, just um, sort out these edges. You can see, look, it doesn't have a square edge. They do have a curve on them, which is good. Okay. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, using this and just to, uh, you know, this is a bigger trail obviously, um, but I'm confident that um, it will improve, um, you know, the finished results of my skimming. I think it's gonna do, re-improve it quite dramatically actually. Um, first impressions, yeah, it's bigger. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Um, the handle, um, yeah, it's got a yeah, nice grip on it, okay. Um, and it's actually, for a bigger trail, it's, it's a nice weight actually. Um, it's clear that um, the blade is thinner, which obviously gives rise to the Superflex name because it has more flex in it. But this is the Superflex 2 and the, um, the Superflex 2, from what I've read, is actually more rigid than the original Superflex. Um, and there are, these do come in quite a few sizes, but I decided to go for the 16 inch, okay. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in with that. And obviously I'll be making videos as and when um, I do my plastering.